Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the WE Vibes and in this video lecture I am going to explain what is the adaptive Huffman coding scheme and how we can use it for coding a particular sequence of the symbols. Fine, we uh, know that in the Huffman coding scheme what we do is we construct a binary tree which consists of the nodes, also called the leaves and then the branches. It's generally a binary tree fine which basically consists of the two branches so here is the root and from that we generate the branches fine in the Huffman coding scheme we should remember that the external nodes or the branches are represented by a rectangle or by the uh, uh, by this uh, by the squares while the interior nodes are represented by the circles so here let's say a is occurring only once b is occurring only once fine and similarly c also occurs twice fine so let's say here you can see the nodes have been mentioned okay one thing that is represented in the binary tree is the weight of the nodes so weight of the nodes or the external nodes represent the frequency or the number of times each symbol is occurring just like i mentioned a occurs once b occurs once while c occurs twice fine while the weight of the internal nodes is actually equal to the summation of its offspring's weights so one plus one is two in this case similarly two plus two is Four in this case fine and then we assign the left hand side branch a code 1 while the right hand side branch is assigned a code of 0 and in this way basically we perform the Huffman coding scheme while in the adaptive Huffman coding scheme we introduced a new terminology which is called an NYT node this is for the representation of a symbol which is named as not yet transmitted okay and initially we start from this node having its weight value equal to zero and it is always represented by a square bracket so the weight of the NYT node will always be equal to zero fine Every time a new symbol arrives, the NYT will generate or give birth to the two nodes. One of them will be a new NYT node, again having the value 0. And then we will mention or we will make the space for this new symbol. Let's suppose A in this case. And then we write the weight of this symbol fine and then 0 plus 1 will become 1 this is the first step that you must remember in the adaptive Huffman coding scheme fine the second thing is the node number we have to assign the node numbers fine so if we have an alphabet of the size n then 2 into n minus 1 internal and the external nodes can be numbered as y1 y2 up to so on y of 2 into n minus 1 since in case of the alphabets n is equal to 26 so we can have 2 into 26 minus 1 is equal to 51 so 51 node numbers can be assigned starting from the top to the nyt okay and we assign the node number always starting from the top then we move towards right then left right and left until you reach the NYT node and hence NYT node will always be assigned the lowest node number while the top node will be assigned the highest node number okay in the adaptive Huffman coding there is a property called the sibling property And what is the sibling property? The sibling property says that 
the two siblings can have either the same value or the right hand sibling values weight should be greater than the left hand side sibling weight all right and if it is not so then you will have to switch the position so let's assume that the frequency of a becomes 2 or a occurs again in the sequence then 2 plus 1 becomes 3 and now you can see the right hand sibling weight is less than as compared to the left hand side siblings weight so what we will do in order to justify this or to make sure the sibling property is satisfied we will switch the positions of these siblings so i will keep or switch the c on the left hand side and it frequencies remains as it is while here you can see i will do what i will or i have switched the positions basically of a and b all right and now you can see the sibling property is satisfying because the right hand side node's weight is greater as compared to the left hand side node fine so let's start with an example of the sequence of the symbols that i want to encode using the adaptive huffman coding scheme in the first step obviously i will generate a binary tree and then after that i'll assign the code and for the uh, code assignment there is a proper procedure that i will discuss in the next lecture okay so let's say we are having the sequence a a c d d then v e so this is basically the sequence of the symbols that i want to encode using the adaptive huffman coding scheme we always start from the nyt symbols as i mentioned so here you will have the not yet transmitted whose weight is zero and its node number will be 51 as i mentioned it's 51 for m for n is equal to 26 okay when a arrives then what will happen this nyt node will give birth to new nodes one of them will be nyt while the other node will be for the symbol a and we will mention inside the weight of a which is equal to 1 right now while the weight of the nyt is 0 and hence 0 plus 1 is actually equal to 1 in this case now the next step is to assign the node number so 51 then we move towards the right and then left okay this is the second stage in the next stage what we do we read the next symbol which is a again so as it is already present in the tree we don't need to introduce a new node for it all we will do is just to increase the frequency of a or increase the weight of a in the tree so we will have i'll make it right over here okay so this is the nyt node its weight is zero while one thing you must always remember that the external nodes are represented by the rectangle so its weight becomes two now and here i will have a and then zero plus two becomes two fine this is 51 this is 50 and it is 49 okay the next step is to read the next symbol since it can be noticed that it's a new symbol arriving so nyt node will give birth to a new node and making the place for the symbol c okay so here i'll draw it again here the frequency of a is 2 while this nyt node now generate two new nodes one will be the new nyt and the second is for the symbol c its weight value is one it's zero so zero plus one is one then two plus one is three and then the next step we will have to assign the node numbers which is like that okay then the next symbol is encountered which is which is d in this case fine so see how it will work again nyt will make a space for this new symbol hence you can see here
we will not write the weight because we have to add a new node in it that's why okay so this becomes now new nyt and its value is 0 while this is the new symbol d its value is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 plus 2 is 4 you can see that so far the sibling property is satisfied because at the same level the right hand side uh, node is having value greater or equal to the left hand side sibling so let's assign the node number 51 50 49 48 47 46 and then 45 you can see the lowest node number is assigned to NY2 and the highest node number is assigned to the root or the parent node fine again you can see now the D is arriving as it is already present in the tree so what we will do we will just increase its frequency and hence you will have so in this way you can see that the frequency of the D is increased in the tree it becomes two now now if you look at this tree it can be seen that the sibling property is not satisfied at this stage why because the weight of the node at the right hand side is less than the weight of the node at the left hand side so what i will do i'll switch the position of these two nodes this is called the updating the tree hence uh, you can see the now at this stage the sibling property is satisfied because the weight on of the right hand side node is now greater similarly if you go on the above level the same problem is arising so that's why we will switch the position of these two nodes as well so here you can see now i have switched the position of these two nodes as well and now this is going to be according to the adaptive Huffman coding scheme the next symbol is v that needs to be inserted in this tree so let's just do it now so far we are having the tree so in this way i have inserted the new symbol v by splitting or generating two new nodes from the previous nyt node all right now the next symbol in the string is e and we will obviously generate further two two nodes from this nyt so let's just do it over here here we have the node a with the frequency of 2 i'll not write the weight of this branch why because we have to add a new node in it that's why so you can see c is occurring only once fine and then here is a new node okay here is the symbol d which occurs twice while for this this is the branch or the node v on this branch while this nyt node again will give birth to the two nodes one of them will be nyt with the weight zero while the second one will be e and its weight is basically equal to one so zero plus one is one one plus one is two two plus two is four and then one plus four is five five plus two is seven one thing you should uh, always remember that the top root will have the weight value equal to the number of the symbols present in the sequence so one two three four five six seven fine and now the last step is to assign the weights 50 49 then 48 47 46 45 44 and finally yeah, uh, sorry not finally 43 42 and finally 41 so you can keep on counting 41 42 43 4 44 5 46 47 48 49 50 and then 51 all right in this way we construct a binary tree according to the huffman coding scheme now in the next step we have to do what we have to assign the codes to these symbols like i will be assigning the code to a then a then c d 
डी वी एंड ई एंड विच इज़ एक्चुअली एक्सप्लेन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो पार्ट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग